I'm Carmen McDonald. You know, when you're up on the mountain lakes, there's nothing quite as effective as a Ford Fender Lake Troll and all the other trolls from Lure Jensen with regard to drawing fish into your trolling spread, getting them to see your bait, and getting an opportunity to get them to strike. The key to remember when trolling lake trolls, it's all about troll speed. You can troll too slow, you can troll too fast. So no matter what lure you have behind it, you want to be focused on what is that, what that troll is doing in the water and what speed you should be going. When you're in a small boat situation like this, you don't have the electronics, you don't have the GPS, you can still control your troll speed just by watching the vibrations on your rod tip. Let's check it out. Behind this Ford Fender here, I'm trolling a number 70 hotshot, which is a great lure for big rainbow trout. So right all I want to do here is just string out a bunch of line. When I'm really in a hardcore fishing situation, I'll be paying attention to every length of line so I can duplicate success every time I get a strike. I want to know exactly how much. But for right now, we're just going to get some line out behind the boat and get this troll working. Now that it's out, I'll put the rod in the rod holder. First thing I want you to notice is when the boat is moving too slow. There's not much action on the rod tip and it's erratic. It's only bouncing here and then it's maybe bouncing again and maybe bouncing again. I don't have enough speed to keep the blades rotating properly. So let me speed up a little bit. Once I start to add some speed, you're gonna notice some things about the rod tip. It's gonna pick up some consistency and it's gonna start to pulse real regularly. What I want is a nice regular pulse with maximum movement on the rod tip. I want it to really be bouncing. What that troll's doing then is not only is it throwing light in all directions back there by my lure, but it's putting out a ton of vibration. Fish respond both to light, what they can see, and vibration, what they feel on their lateral line. When they feel like there's something going on they need to be in on, they come to it. So this is about perfect where I have a good bounce on my rod tip. I'm consistent. It's pretty slow slower than you might think. This is where I'm gonna be real confident that I'm gonna catch fish. So what if I'm going too fast? Let's speed up a little bit. As I speed up the motor, you're gonna notice two things. One, the rod tip's gonna pull down. There's weight on it. The blades are having a tough time coming through the water and they're meeting a lot of resistance. Two, that excellent vibration that I had with those blades thumping, thumping, thumping in the water now becomes really tight. The rod tip's generally flat and it just shakes a little bit. I'm out of what we'd call the zone. I'm not catching them. I'm not in the spot. I need to make adjustments. So next time when you're out trolling for trout, pay attention to your troll speed, even if you don't have a GPS. And certainly if you do have a GPS, figure out what that pulse looks like when you're catching fish and duplicate it every time. It's a great way to go and I hope it puts a lot of fish in your boat.